<laughs> Where I belong. <laughs> she paused. And she paused. Did you get Lulu? You did? Oh, okay. So we're here with Lulu and, <laughs> and Chantal again. As you know, she is the Canadian author of No More Assholes. And again, of course, Trisha and Tanya are here as well. Mm -hmm. And we want I wanted to bring her back into a second segment because still in this book, because this book is is fascinating and there's so many questions, but there's oh. a there, <laughs> <laughs> Trisha had a life changing had moment, a moment the first oh. time. <laughs> we had to talk her down. <laughs> Off the ledge. She now has Chantel on speed dial. <laughs> But I wanted to because in one of the chapters there is a there is a seven steps or here seven. seven qualities a real man is looking for in a woman. Ooh, right? now it's about us. Yeah. Now it's about <laughs> us. Oh. It's always about us. It always is about us, yes. And I'm still waiting for a man to come on here. Actually, uh, we're still looking for a man to be okay to come here and not feel like we're going to eat them alive <laughs> mm. but um i thought this one was interesting because we're always talking about uh, like a woman's point of view and what but i thought this one is an interesting one the whole book was fast it was amazing and again you have another uh seven books i do um that that you've written and um, we'll get into that in another segment because she'll be on another seven times <laughs> <laughs> trisha's head will explode i know we're all like <laughs> Trisha, Chantel, Maya, and Tanya show now. We're changing the whole format. Anyways, so one of them, so I'll go over the seven because then I, I, the girls don't know what they are. So this is going to be a little bit of a surprise to them. So the first one is a, man, a real man is looking for a woman who is emotionally strong. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my God, this is number one. No. I know. Really? So they don't want a girl that's damn like... in distress. Right? Like, oh, oh help me. Uh, yes, but we'll get into that. Yes, we oh, will get into yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. But I think, and I, I think you're right. We, we, I don't, I think after a while though, that that would get tiring for a man to just have this girl whining and crying all the time. You, they want them to have a little right. bit of of that they they're in check of where their emotions are it's different about crying because you see a sad movie together and you're like oh my god that's beautiful <laughs> then every time like you know you get into an argument or you get into a dis not even an argument a disagreement or something goes wrong and that girl is like on the floor pu in puddles it's like get it together girl mm -hmm. <laughs> so i it, am i right is that like kind of sums that up kind of sort of yeah they do want to see us cry yes they exactly do, because it actually creates more intimacy because Ex when you think about it we used to be cavemen and cave women and what happens when you're soft and i don't mean like like when you're when you're when you're holding it back yes. that's not crying by the way but when you're sobbing and i mean like on the floor it looks like a dog throwing up sobbing Oh. Right? Yeah. That's a real cry. Mm -hmm. When you look like a dog throwing up, that is the real cry. Mm -hmm. When you are bent over, when your body just takes over with the cry, that's when you're doing it. But your 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 eyes are full of tears, right? And it's blurry. What what can you see? Can you see the snake coming at you? No. Can you hear the twig snap from a heavy paw? No, because you're sobbing. Mm -hmm. So there's no moment that you're more vulnerable. Yes. Really, in a physical, actual way that men can see and understand in their lizard brain. Mm -hmm. When you cry in front of him and you let him see you cry, he loves you more because he understands that you trust him with your life. I was in just going to say that. Yeah. But they need us to be emotionally strong because in a relationship, you take turns being the pillar of support. I agree. Okay. And if you cannot be that pillar when it is your turn, when he's going through a tough time, like my husband, he moved an entire business from one big warehouse to a bigger warehouse. Mm -hmm. And he did this pretty much on his own. Yes. And it was, and all the financial eggs were in one basket. So it was a physical and an emotional and a mental toll. Yes. And I took my turn. And I made sure he smiled every day. And I made sure he got kisses every day because that kiss contains chemicals that is an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. And I would bring him a cho an O'Henry chocolate bar 
every yeah. now and then when I saw that he was having a particularly tough time to break that mood. Yeah. So and and you know make loving him, making yes. him food, yeah. right? Like they need us to step up when they we, need support. Yes, I agree. So they do need. I that. agree, and sometimes there, if there's a testament of seeing a, a real man when you are at that moment. And he sees, like you said, and he sees you as a strong woman when, when he's going to have his moment, and there's a vulnerability to that. And that, I think that happens in time as well. I don't, in being together, because, you know, hopefully traumas like that where you cry like that don't happen every day. But there is, I know, you know, at being married for 20 years, we've had those moments, and it does build the, the relationship stronger, I, I do does. have to say, yeah. Especially if there's a, it's financial, a death. Um, something tragic that happens um, then those are the moments where you're having pretty much those cries so I totally agree with that it was, it's a great it's a great chapter okay this, this number two mm. was a woman who has weaknesses yes okay so now that, <laughs> so the damsel in distress yes there needs to be something that only he can do for you we have this culture where and again I talked about crying and how so many like in my practice I teach women how to cry because we're strong we're stoic and we probably came from moms that right. we didn't want to cry in front of because we didn't want to be weak in the face of her anger right and we've trained ourselves to not cry in front of guys who were using us in front of people who were abusing us, right? Yeah. But we forgot to let the crying come and we forgot to let the vulnerability happen. Yeah. Men need to feel needed. They want you to be strong and independent, okay. but they also need to know they have a role in your life. So there needs to be at least one thing that only he can do. He is assigned the spider killer role. He, at the very, the very, very least, he is assigned the role of putting his arms around you and telling you everything is going to be okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when you need that. You, he's the one you go to. I go to my husband and I say, baby, I need you to put your arms around me and tell me everything's going to be okay. He needs to know that he's the only one who could do that for you. And when he so does crying. it. Why am I getting I, emotional? Yeah, look at you. It's true. Okay, yeah. No, that's very they, sweet. They it's need, true. They need that role. They need a role in your life. Yeah. So you need to have a weakness where he shores it up and he stands firm for you. And that makes him feel good too. It, it like, makes feels like, like a man. man. Like a man. Right? Yeah. Like I'm a man. Like yes. I'm here to save yeah. the day. Yeah. You're a strong, independent woman. You have your own thing going on. But when a guy can kind of swoop in and feel like, oh, don't worry, I killed that spider. I'm the man. And that's right. Let him walk let around him his have, chest, and puff down a little bit. bit. Right? Let yeah. him have that moment. I get that. One moment. One. Just moment. one. That's yeah. it. <laughs> I'm back in charge. Um, the other one um, is a woman that who is feminine, not a feminist who is feminine. So sexy. You, and you can be a feminist too. By you the can way. be a I'm feminist, yeah, yeah. But I just in your yeah. book, it's, like it's sex it says who is feminine. feminine, and I I do I do agree with that too. Yes. Uh, my husband does like it when I'm dressed up. When we go out, we we I right? put it all together. I think so too. I think a woman so. needs to put some effort, effort in. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. do. I do. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like I know I'm. We might get backlash for this, but I think a woman should should. And it's not that old, you know, that old way of thinking. It's just like you know, let them. Be, come out dress nice come right? out sexy mm -hmm. you know when we, tom and i go out for dinner like i do have in in a woman's store i do have women where would i wear that where wouldn't you wear it why wouldn't you wear a dress like right? this to dinner with your husband right why does this have to be a wedding at, a, a special occasion yeah. like i'll go i'll say to tom i picked out three dresses which one do you want me to wear like mm -hmm. that's and he'll be like oh i made that one tonight whether I'm going out with my girlfriends or I'm going out with him, I'm going to be dressed up. I also think that when you are going out on a date and you look fabulous, right? And then you're with that one guy. Yeah. And you have all your attention with that one guy and other men are looking. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like, right? I'm thinking, I'm like, baby, I'm with you, though. Yes. Right? right? So mm -hmm. I'm with you. and But that attention, like, other men are saying, wow. Like, yes. Girl, yeah. Right? I think it's important. Yeah. You need to dress up to say, look, baby, I'm with you. Yes. Am but I also, then, yes. no, okay, so true. we're talking about dating, but I also think it goes to marriage yeah. as well. Your relationship. You know, keep it up. Yes. Why, why should it just become wearing Lululemons and your no. in a top or leggings in a top and going out for dinner? Let them see. Because sometimes, I'm sorry, I might again get backlash on this, but you know what? He's looking at the other girl. Yes, that's, that's dressed, dressed up. up. 
And you know what? My husband, I know after 20 years, he's looking at me. Mm -hmm. I, I have no doubt in my mind that my husband is looking at me. So I'm good. And there's a confidence to that. There's a trust to that. There's everything else. There's a, some, obviously it says something about our relationship, but I know my husband's look, actually I'm the one pointing out, oh, look at that girl's dress. <laughs> oh, look at her ass. Holy crap. <laughs> Don't you look, but I'm just saying I'm looking. And the thing is, is, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm looking at her ass. There's again, our trust in our relationship where I'll be like, look, look, look at that girl's boobs. Oh my God, mm -hmm. they're amazing. Or whatever yeah. it is. And he'll look and he'll be like, oh yeah, she's good looking. And I'm not going, oh my God, now you're looking? Like, right? it's mm -hmm. just like that. But I think women should keep it up. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. You use the right words, which was come out. Mm -hmm. And listen, I mean, we live in the country. I'm wearing track pants and like a loose sweatshirt and rubber boots. And he still probably thinks, most damn, my time, girl is hot. Most of the time. Yes. But, and the thing is like, like men don't want to have to be on. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, right? you're right. They don't, they don't want to always have to have the near the 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 nose hair trim, <laughs> the ear hair trim, yeah. right? The hair cut. They, yeah, yeah. they don't like the type of men that I drive women towards are not the metrosexuals really. It's 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 just the hard working, the yeah. devoted, the you know, right. like just the focused ones. Yes. Yeah. And so they're fine if you're not mm. on all, all the, the time. time. You're absolutely and that's right. that's not what they're looking for. Like studies show that these types are looking for women who wear less makeup, mm -hmm. right? They're more attracted to a natural woman. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need to be on all the time. You can be sloppy as yes. much as you want to, but come out every right. now and then. Mm. Yes, let him see Have that. Have the hair done, do the makeup, yeah. get the cute yeah. outfit. That's right. And go out with him on his arm looking like a million yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars yes and it it makes him feel like a man yeah. like that's my woman yeah but i will turn the table though women yes. want a man to do that too yes. well that's why we buy them nice clothes <laughs> right <laughs> right yes right? like so yeah. that it does go both ways so mm -hmm. that you know being devil's advocate like i do it's got to go both ways like just yeah. like we were talking about another segment about manscaping they want mm. us to keep this up well, you can keep it up too. Yeah. So it goes both ways yeah. for that. The uh, the other number four was a woman who doesn't need him. Mm -hmm. oh. Be that <laughs> strong. <laughs> Listen, I you, you don't need him to be on your arm twenty four seven. No, that I agree. You don't need him to be your everything. No, right? Yep. So you and I agree you have don't, your own life. You you don't need him like like you might share expenses. He might pay all the expenses. But you don't need him for that. You let him do that. Yes. Yes. I agree. I mean, again, if, you know, I agree. Speaking the married side, I think we agree too. My 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 husband my husband knows is like, you walk out that not that he is, but he knows. I'm confident enough to say, if you walk out that door, don't worry about me, eh? I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And he knows that. So, and it's not that you want to scare him. It's just that he knows I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that. To depend it on him on everything. We, this is a relationship. It's also this is a relationship, though. But I it's do choice. find there's men. There are some men that I have dated that like those women that are then that they need them. So then I start thinking, what's wrong with you? That was just gonna say that. But those are guys, not men. Oh, well, look at you! Look at so you! You haven't even read the book, and you already know. <laughs> I've been listening. <laughs> If he wants you to be his everything and not have friends and not have family and not have a life outside of him, that is somebody who's trying to control you. Hallelujah, lady. <laughs> a man wants you to be happy. Right? Yep. Which means he wants you to be balanced. Oh. But that's... also when you when you when they know that you could step out the door and be okay, that you're fine without him, it adds a little bit of insecurity, and I don't mind a bit of insecurity. Yeah. There's a, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of insecurity, I think is good in a relationship because it keeps you together, it cements you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you must have your own friends, your own life, your absolutely. own interests. Yes. Absolutely, I, I agree with a that. A thousand percent. I encourage women, I'm, I'm, I'm. doesn't matter if you're married or if the guy wants to go out to watch the game with the boys, let, let him. him. Have yeah. fun. Let him. Yes. And have fun. Yes. And go miss me. Yes when I'm gone or when you go yes. and then we come back and it's like now we're happy to get yes. to this right other. and you know it's it's also finding individuality as well because yes. when we're, you're married you are the mother you are the wife you are the caregiver mm -hmm. you are this but where's me 
Mm -hmm. I want I need people to see me and I it's okay to do that without him it's okay for people to see me whether it's male or females or meet other people without him because that I'm still a person I don't want to be generalized as the mother as the wife I don't want that to be my only identity yeah so that I I that was that this is again one of those aha moments like we had in our last segments this is definitely an aha moment I really like that one um, the other one number six was a woman who will challenge him mm-hmm now if my husband yeah. was here he knows I challenge <laughs> Every day, <laughs> every day I challenge that man. A woman that, that challenges him. Have your own opinions. Mm-hmm. Have your uh, like guys want you to be compliant. Yes. Because they want what they want when they want it, and so when you're compliant, then they can pull you in any time they want. Mm-hmm. Men want you to be again a strong, independent woman. Right. They want you to need them. Mm-hmm. They want you to be leaned in. They want you to be devoted. They they want you to dress up for them. Mm-hmm. But they also want you to be yourself, and they want you to have your own mind. But, and so have your own opinions, and don't be afraid to challenge his opinions. Yes, yeah, I yeah. agree. Have a, have a, I think it's not having an argument, but having yeah. an intellectual yes. argument. Having an Men argument. are intelligent. Yes. And I would like to think that, like, not so, so much about the argument no, no. side, but like with my husband, I'd like to think I'm, my sister-in-law can probably verify this she's over there. <laughs> and I, I think I'm a little different from every, the women he's been with because I think I'm kind of quirky and weird and funny. And I think he's like, who, what's, what's up with this yeah, chick? Yeah. Like, she's a little, yeah. she's kind of off. Yeah. And it's I think, come out of her mouth I know. And I think that's, I think he kind of likes, I think he's like, tone it down sometimes. Yeah, but I think yeah. he kind of likes the fact that I'm kind of out there. I do funny things. I do quirky things. And I yeah. think that's what he kind of appreciates. Yeah. And I think yeah. sometimes even, sometimes they'll even stand back and say, that's my girl. Yeah, like she's when weird. When you're in a when you're in a social <laughs> gathering yeah. and you guys everybody's having a conversation yeah. and you know you're you're whatever it may be and you're you have your opinion, he's just standing back going, hey, that's my girl. She has a half a head, right? Yeah, yeah. like that's good. Yeah. I think that's they, they're proud of that too. Yeah. Um, the last one was a woman who is confident. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this, I'm going to say this because I hear I hear this from single single friends. Um, that say, oh, it didn't work out. He 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 told me he broke up with me because he couldn't. He said I was too confident, and I was too independent. And you're like, mm-hmm. really? And I I think to myself, what? Like, what kind of guy is that? That's a guy. Not a man. That's a guy. That's a guy because he has his only insecurities. Because I and that's how I turn and it he around. Wants to- complacent he wants again right so if you're too confident it means you have too much of your own life yes yeah and you think well doesn't a man want them to want a woman to be confident and not confident in a it, there's a, a there's a difference in confidence I don't want it to be like a and I've met women like this too where it's a confident in an abrasive aggressive. bitchy way aggressive way or, or just a confident woman like my girlfriend she says this all the time she goes i don't know how you walk into a room like that because i walk i walk into a room and i know i do i walk in held high like just walk into a room i'm not looking to see who's looking at me i'm not looking to see oh i look good i'm just walking into a room she goes i don't know how you do that and i didn't even know i did that uh my girlfriend my girlfriend commented i was like oh i never thought of it that way but there's a i know i'm a confident strong woman i'm not an insecure woman um but I think there's a men don't want that woman to be also like oh you don't know what you're talking about like that's a different kind of yeah. negative yeah that's right that's a different or kind of confidence down. or putting him yeah, down and that's not confidence by the way when you need to oh. step on somebody to elevate yourself that's insecurity you know what I've I seen agree. so many women talk to men um, just really really poorly and their husbands oh you're an idiot or mm-hmm. you know you don't know what the hell you're talking about and I'm like don't belittle him, him. in front yeah. of people like because you're you're emasculating him in that moment right and yeah. a man will always want to be a man yes. am I right they do and what's the number one reason why men cheat because the other woman made him feel better, better about himself, himself. yeah uh, ladies <laughs> ladies yeah. so but coming back to the confidence yes the number one most attractive quality and confidence was last but in that list but it is the biggest factor for a man choosing you is confidence because men are good cavemen 
So it comes back to the hard working, it comes back to the responsibility, it comes back to the fact that they will do anything to ensure the survival of their child. These are good cavemen, and who they are selecting, because remember, it's not this that selects, it's this and it's this. So they're observing, falling for character, and then choosing her, long after they started having sex. It has nothing to do with sex. No kissing for three months doesn't weed out the men. It gets their interest because it says, I'm too confident mm -hmm. to choose somebody before knowing who they are. Mm -hmm. I'm too smart for that. I'm too good of a cave woman to choose somebody who isn't going to ensure my survival and survival of the child we make together. So when you have that confidence to wait for no kissing for three months, to walk into a room and own your space mm -hmm. and they see that that's when it all starts clicking for them yeah and that's it's 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 funny that you say that though because when, when you when i when i am out and i can say this or for any woman that i think that men can sense when a woman can be there their self and that also attracts them and that's what we, you're not going to get that on here you're going to get that, that because here. initial attraction it's funny because they did a study where they took people and they, they turned women into men men into women right mm -hmm. with like photoshop oh yeah yeah and then and then they put a hundred photos in front of them and they said choose your ideal partner based on looks they chose themselves oh my god right and i so agree with that like yep. attracts <laughs> like we hear this yep. like attracts like we, we seek familiarity we seek what's familiar even if it's bad for us right we're designed to seek familiarity that's hardwired into us and we're also designed to look for signs of fertility or for men mm -hmm. or for women to look for signs of strength mm -hmm. because again it's that lizard brain the cave woman and caveman brain so this is the initial factor mm -hmm. for bringing us closer and together but now it's up to the women to vet mm -hmm. awesome what do you have to say? Trisha says, her, her wheels are like spinning. Yeah, I don't know. Know. Woman my Trisha head is going. Like notes, my yeah, head. We are on a mission. mission. I know, right? <laughs> so basically, we got cave woman Trisha going over there. <laughs> yeah, she's going to take the man, put him over her shoulder, and get back to the cave. No, she's going she's gonna, to she's gonna observe and then choose the one who's going to put her over his shoulder. That's right? right. I want to go over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound good either. <laughs> And Lulu, again, before we end, any thoughts, any opinions for us? Lulu? She's had enough of us. <laughs> You're good. And that note, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much. We'll Thank definitely you. have you on again. Again, we're going to get all the... And the books. So I want you just quickly just to go through each book that you have. Right. Okay, so... You've written, excuse me. Uh, if if you if you're fresh off a divorce or breakup or even not so fresh but your heart is still hurt, you want come back queen because okay. this puts your heart back together. And I got I got a little bit of that in there okay. to help you get out into the dating world. Fake love need not apply is the different types of wrong guys that are out there. So posers, losers, predators, you know, so you it's see them. Segment. So I, I break them down so you see them a mile away and you're like, mm -mm, not for me. Now you get into... <laughs> I need that book. I need them all. I need all the books. <laughs> I love seeing, I love seeing like the, like, I'll have like a flurry of like all my other books being bought and I'm like, somebody read, read a book and then got the rest of them. Um, this is vetting. And then after the first kiss gets you through the insecurity phase. We, once we fall for somebody, it really makes us want to <gasps> hold right? on yeah. because that fear of loss sets in. And you need to understand about his baby mama. You need to understand right? about how much he works. You right? need to understand about his dedication to other things in his life and the fact that he Where needs to get back to it. Where do you fall on that list? Where do you fall on that list? Because after the honeymoon phase, is the reality phase. So if you can't let him go back to reality, he's going to push you off of his page because he needs to get back to life and his responsibilities. So after the first kiss is how you so make your awesome. first year ridiculously <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So you build that relationship foundation, but we bring baggage with us, especially the older we get, the more yes. we're going to vomit our past into mm -hmm. our future. Yes. So fix that shit. Mm -hmm. Teaches you how to be the emotional leader in the relationship, how to get your emotions under control, because we can't tell, but we can show. So once you start displaying the behavior that you want from him, a good man who loves you follows your lead. Love it. Gosh. Mm. And then you said you so have one for... 
your Te- kids. For kids? Yes. I was like, what? Yeah. That's amazing. So that one is called? Dating 101. Dating 101. So any parents that are out there, definitely. And I think I will do, I will get that for my daughter for so sure. So that they don't need this. Right. We right. don't want them to have this book. We don't want that book, ladies. <laughs> That's awesome. That can is I, awesome. I wonder if I can start off with Dating 101. <laughs> No, you're here. <laughs> you're uh, here, Trisha. I'm sorry. We're, we will tell you you're here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so, so much. That was awesome. We'll definitely have her back, though. Any uh, any questions that anybody has, so please submit them, and we'll for sure have her back so Chantel can answer them for us. It, this was amazing. Again. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Bye, ladies. And men. <laughs> <laughs>